Uh, you can see this on the elements here. So we would select the workflow and we come up with the different elements that uh, are involved in angio planning from the viewing of the DICOM information, fusion, and the angio element. In the past, the gold standard has always been DSA images, so digitally subtracted angiography. Uh, these are time frames, so there's 43 different images as we see the contrast go into the nidus and then drain. This is called 2D flow. We also then take these images and we'll fuse them to a 3D data set. In this case, it's a time of flight MRA, all in DICOM. As soon as the DICOM information hits the computer, it's automatically vessels are segmented. We could also do this with CTAs and also 3D rotational angiography. So in the past as well, we've always had to have this localized the data sets, the 2D planner. This new algorithm is able to do this without a localizer box. We're able to then take images of these DSAs that are done even before the patient comes to radiotherapy and allows you to not have the patient go again to have to get another catheter, to another dot contrast enhancement, and so on. So here we see the DSAs with the 3D vessels. We can make these as complex as we wish, or least complex, and we can fuse these. So hitting the fusion icon, we have the algorithm start to look for a matching pair. So first on the frontal view, and then it will be secondly on the lateral view. It does this by scaling the images, as well as doing it all the rotations. Okay, so this doesn't take very long, and you can see how it matches up very nicely throughout. Taking off the vasculature, we can then also see, playing the film, how the contrast enhances through the filling, through the nidus, and then out through the draining vessels. Moving on then to the contouring, we look at a good frame for the nidus definition. We'll look at the frontal, and we'll look at the lateral, and we'll use our smart uh, our region of interest brush here to then contour out where on this 2D planar image we are. Here we are. And we can see that the area of mutual interest between the two. We also then have the ability to look at the color intensity projection. We can see the filling and then the diffusion through the nidus, where the yellow and green is, and then out through the draining vessels as well. So we can know that we've encompassed the entire nidus that we're trying to contour. Using this 2D planar imaging for a region of interest, we create a bounding box, which is always because it's 2D planar an overestimation of the actual nidus. But because of the fusion process, we know the vasculature through this bounding box, and we're able to then segment out the vessels that are here. Segment those out and then detects the actual nidus, which you can see here. Now, if we just use 2D planar imaging, which is the gold standard for AVM segmentation, we would have over-treated this normal tissue. Looking then at the red-blue view, we can very nicely see the filling and draining vessels. It's very important to know where those draining vessels are, because if you treat the draining vessels, you can create a chance of hemorrhage. So, if I had just used at CTA and MRA, I might have contoured over here. But looking at that, we can see that at this point here was actually outside the nidus, was actually draining vessels, and I might have then mistreated this patient and created a hemorrhage. I could also then see this very nicely in my 3D view where here is a very high resolution definition of these vessels, and that's my target. At this point, I can take this, and I can very easily export all this information, straight DICOM, with a new data set created for the color intensity projection, and send this straight to Quentry, which is the cloud computing solution, send this to iPlan, or any other training planning solution as well.